Okay, I'm gonna be honest here and say that this is a little bit creepy. I'm standing here now for a while, and this person is standing there too. She's standing behind me. Like for 10 minutes or something, not saying anything, not doing anything, she's just staring. That's so creepy. Seriously, Hunter! Why are you so creepy? Oh, she's moving? Wait, I was in the way? I was in the way and she didn't move because of that? Seriously? Is she gonna do? Can I do that again? I can do that again! Oh my god, I can prevent everybody from doing his work! Oh. Yeah, okay, she's... Do it again! Cool Fiverr, you're not cool. You're weird. <laughs> as weird as me, blocking you from your path. Again. Again, again. Come on, come on. No! She's walking right through me. <laughs> oink, oink, idiot. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> okay, to the Great Ravine! Yes, we made it. Let's start by finding a way forward. Okay. Let's find the fissure. The tectonic movements. Move. Seriously, now you're giving me movement advice again? That's kind of weird, you know. I, I should be able to move by now. This way. They are all just staring into the hole that he left. That's... <laughs> 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 yeah, you just go. Go stare. Zora, no wonder no nothing's through. nothing's we happening. We've been down. making no progress if all the I'm hunters are just staring into the abyss. On the other side. I am so excited and so amazed about this big hole. Yes, I mean, it is a very big hole, but seriously. After like two minutes. I mean... Seriously, it doesn't even take two minutes. It takes a few seconds. You're like, okay, it's a big hole. Let's, let's move on. Like when you go climbing and you look down a very, very, from a very high point, you're like, oh my god, look at the view. And ten seconds later, I'd say, yeah, okay, let's go on. <laughs> uh, we gotta be careful not to fall here. We can't. Look at this. Oh my god. God is preventing me. The power of Zora Magdaros is preventing me from... Jumping exhausted over the edge. <laughs> oh. wow. I have to say, this is such an amazing zone. Coral Highlands was just a great idea. I think they actually kicked... Like, they started with this, the, the whole down, coral crystal zone <laughs> thing. Because now in every video game there's kind of a corally region. And a crystal region. Okay. <laughs> Come on! It's still amazing. This way. Yeah, this way! I'm behaving like a stupid kid! Seriously, you are a hunter. Oh no! Ooh. Ooh. The Yana's just... Ooh. It's so fast. I can't imagine Rathalos actually being faster than Negiana, because it, it states in the law that Rathalos is the fastest flying wyvern. But Legiana is like really fast, actually. Oh no. So done. Who is that? Her knickers. Here we are. I don't know where we are. No, I'm I'm asleep. Standing. <laughs> Let's talk to her, third fleet master. Hmm. 
Oh, hello. Old drug lady smoking that grass all day long. Remember your fall? I do. A friend of ours found you napping in the wet veil and carried you here, but more to the point, how did she... I mean, okay, you were hunters, right? We can carry super big swords and all the weaponry, so it should be no problem to carry us here. <laughs> Congratulations, you found the third fleet. I'm their leader. To the extent that still means something. Okay. And this is our research base. Our fleet consists entirely of scholars. Ooh. That's not useful. Which fleet are you with? And how did you get here? What happened in the Great Ravine? How did they not know? <laughs> how do they not know? Hmm. Ah, I see. The Great Ravine faded to black and then BAM! <laughs> so this Zora Magdaros was the latest Eldrang to make the crossing and it breached the Great Ravine when you tried to capture it? Hmm. Yes, it did. Well, I suppose after all this time we may get to finally do what we came here for. I must say that I'm stimulated. She's... I, I mean, I like her. But she's a little bit... She's, I mean, she's a weirdo. That's fine. I like weirdos. Well then, let's not waste any time. We need to pick up Zora Magdaros trail. An expedition to the Coral Highlands might be fruitful. Would you agree? I don't know. Maybe it's Coralie instead. For obvious reasons, this is what we call the surrounding area. A nice, thorough expedition should reveal the Highlands secrets. <laughs> Wait. I know it's a good idea. I came up with it. Ha ha ha. No, go quickly. Yeah, yeah. Doing a careful fine. expedition into the Coral Highlands sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah. The funny thing is that in a way it seems like they didn't achieve anything until we arrived here. Sometimes sometimes it seems like that. I mean they built they built the city and all that stuff, but it totally seems like they didn't find any information whatsoever until we got here. Not even around the about the surrounding areas. <laughs> Let's go. Seems a monster known as Tsitsiyaku inhabits these parts. Want to take a look? Yeah, I'm gonna Nothing bash him on the head. Us. Cheese choice platter, go handler, cook. So scary. She looks into the oven. Yay! But she can cook like a boss. You see. I wish I could cook like that. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Whee! I love this area. <laughs> and I love the animals that I can capture here. <laughs> oh yeah, an elegant coral bird. Small. No, don't run away. That was a bad shot. Ooh, let's try and capture one of those. Yep, thanks. Oh. A wiggler! My wiggler. Oh, mine. Red pit. Okay. Yeah, that's Sitsi. Sitsi Yaku. He's a close relative to the Kulu Yaku. Who could have known that? Oh, yeah, we have little new small shits here as well. <laughs> And I'm gonna kill you. I like to do that. Give me your materials. Uh, if I hit you. <laughs> Sounds like a horse. A little bit like a horse. Chamos. Be ashamed, Chamos! You are no challenge! I'm a little bit sad that I didn't that they didn't made a, a great Shamos. Like with every other of the smaller monsters. Like the Jaggies and Baggies and stuff like that. And the all the drones. Because killing things is fun. Oh nice. Little fox. They really sound like horses. Or like the horse bats in in Path of Exile, actually. Now, now I know where they got it from. Give me your scales and claws and all your hide, little shamos. 
Chamos. Oh, here we go. It's still funny. What I really like about Monster Hunter is that they did a lot of funny, quirky little monsters. You have way too big balls. Come on, jump down. Hey, partner. I'm on your head. Yep. Strike it. Gonna poke you. And let's go. Perfect. Oh no, that was bad. Still. <laughs> ah. Yeah, okay. Oh, you crashed that thing. What are you doing? Ow. Okay. I'm losing against the smallest monster. Oh yeah. Holy. Oh man, come on! Yes! Boing! That's broken! Nice! Oh no, the bug. <laughs> now I'm getting you. See? Totally blunted. Dead. Wow, you only have one strike left? There. Okay, Shadows. This is mine. Mine, go away. Mine. Hi, Titi. Dead, Titi. I feel a little bit sorry because he's such a small monster, but he nearly killed me, so actually. Hey guys, it's the edit night here once again, and I just wanted to talk a little bit how Faye is improving on our hunts bit by bit, 
And especially with the Insect Glaive, she really likes this weapon and is getting better and better with every hunt she does. Well, she, she's using the shot mechanic quite a lot instead of the, the attack command for the Insect. But she is greatly improving on her combos and also on her hunting strategy overall. She's fighting much closer to the monster than when we started playing the game. And she's dealing a lot more damage and got a lot faster. It took her only about 10 minutes longer to kill Tsitsi, which is pretty good, considering that she is fighting him for the very, very first time and is still new to the game. Aww, buffet. <laughs> ah. Here we go. Tsitsi slain. Well done, Faye. Well done. Now we just have to find that camp location and then we're good to go. <laughs> Look at those dudes. <laughs> Running in a straight line for real. Oh, no. Now they're all uh, wet. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> we just go. There's six of them. Six Kelpies in one location. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so in the end I told her where the camp is because she, she took a little bit longer to find it. But there it is. One of the best camp locations. Hidden away in the coral trench. Is it a trench? Do you call that a trench? I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honcho. Yeah, let's ask the Sounds honchos. Like the research base has a new guest. Ooh. Wanna go back and check in? Yes, let's Maybe check in. Something to eat? Sounds great. Let's leave. Return from expedition. Woo woo woo. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And of course, we hope to see you all next time for another episode of Monster Hunter World. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. And until we meet again, bye-bye.